So now we are going to learn how to make dosa and other South Indian things with millets. So normally dosa batter uh, is made with uh, white rice and a, and a combination of urad dal. But what I'm going to show you today is uh, what combinations are ideal to be used in our uh, dosa batter if you want to use millets. So uh, this is the dosa batter that uh, it's it's all it's a pre fermented dosa batter, a wet batter that we have prepared. And uh, this is uh, made with a combination of whole ragi. So we've used whole ragi in this recipe. There's foxtail millet, so you can replace any millet rice with this. Urad dal and some methi seeds, fenugreek. Our batter is made using a combination of all these. Uh, the proportion in any millet batter is 3 is to 1. Three portions of millet and one portion of urad dal. These three portions, you can either use one millet, you can split the three portions into two millets also if you would so wish. So today what we have done is, because I was making a dosa uh, and dosas turn out crispier if we add some ragi to it. So I have in addition to using foxtail millet, I have also used ragi. So the three portions of millet has been split into two portions of foxtail and one portion of ragi and then one portion of urad dal. So this is the 3 is to 1 ratio that I have used in the batter today. You have to soak everything individually. For one katori this size that I've used here or one cup, you need to use only one teaspoon of methi seeds to soak, not more than that. Soaking time is a minimum of six hours. It also depends on the weather. So soaked ground and fermented. You soak it separately, then you grind the millets together, you grind the dal and methi together, mix it, add some salt and leave it to ferment. A lot of times people also ask me that in the idli dosa batter, is it okay if you use atta? My personal experience has been that attas will not give you as flavorful dosas as using the whole grains or whole seeds will. So it's always better to use the whole uh, grains for soaking. So uh, this is uh, what the recipe is and this is what the fermented batter, this is what our texture looks like. So we are just going to check how hot or cold atava is. It's okay, it's hot, I can feel the heat, but we're going to wait for it just to heat up just a little bit. So I'm using a cast iron tawa for our dosa. So our dosa pan is now hot. I'm going to reduce the heat all the way down and using a wet cloth, I'm just going to cool it down. And pour our batter. So I'm just going to uh, wait for it to just finish cooking and I saw so I see no uncooked sides and uh, a slight browning and that's when I'm going to flip the dosa. It should come on uh, out from all sides on its own. Uh, if you can make the switch to uh, a cast iron pan, uh, they definitely make really nice dosas. So we can see that it's slightly browning from here. This is the ideal time to take the dosa out and it's cooked from all sides. And so our dosa is cooked. You can see how nice and crisp it is. Once you start eating millet dosas, trust me, you're not going to be able to go back to the regular rice dosas because these are really delicious.